This video is proudly sponsored by Cameron Hosken TV, one of the young artists at the forefront of British rising talent. Cameron covers the latest songs with a blend of some of his favourite classic pop tracks and even releases some originals sometimes. Cameron is working towards releasing his debut album, so what are you waiting for? There's lots to find out and lots to discover, so head straight over to his channel after this video to help support his singing dreams for the future. Check the description below for links to find him all across the internet, everything you could possibly need. Thank you to Cameron for supporting me by sponsoring this video. I'd appreciate you checking his videos out too. Thank you. Taylor and I watch Ask the Teen on Teen Talks. <laughs> Enjoy! Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ask the Teen. This week's episode is number 88. I've got loads more topics for you on the news talks, got loads of questions for you and loads more fun. So let's get started. So Ryan the Hero 14 asks me, what would you use to defend yourselves from hordes of zombies? Well, if they were attacking me, you know what? Well, it might not be the conventional thing, but I'd use some headphones because if I can't hear them, they can't hear me, right? So Cameron Hoskin TV asks a really interesting question this week. He says to me, if you could choose one actress to feature in one of your videos, who would you choose and why? Well, I would actually probably have to choose Kira Knightley because as you guys know, I really like Kira Knightley. I think she's a really good actress and she's a really cool person and seems really down to earth. Uh, and I'd really love to do a video of her, it'd be really cool. Maybe she could host series two of Online X Factor. So if anyone knows her, let me know in the comments below and we can email and hit her up and get her on the show. So f 11 asks me, what do you think of the Olympic preparations and do you think it's gonna be a success? Well, so far it seems to have been a success. I know there's been issues kind of in the warm up to it, uh, such as obviously the G4S losing the keys to the Olympic Games in all of the security problems but to be honest I think some of it is just controversy I mean all of it's happened I'm not denying that I know it's all real but I think our press is just very good at finding out and digging deep to find out the information and so I think all of these problems usually happen at the Olympics we just don't get to find out about it I do think it's really bad that they lost the keys I really do think that there's some problems and it needs to be addressed for future Olympic Games to stop it happening elsewhere but I think so far it seems to have been a really big success and fingers crossed it will continue that way because I don't know about you guys but I'm really enjoying the Olympics and I hope you're enjoying it too. So Little Miss Commenter asks me if you could live in any video game, which one would you choose? Well to be honest, if we're talking about living in a video game, you can't choose something like COD, even if you like that, I don't. But because, I mean, you just end up dying really quickly. So I'd have to choose The Sims because obviously it's like a whole kind of life in itself. Though it would be quite annoying if like you want to go to the loo and like the players saying, no, we're going out to the shops and you could do a ping yourself, but you just can't. So you are going end up just picking yourself. But no, I'm sure uh, The Sims would be really cool to be in in real life, it'd be quite funny. But I don't know if I could talk like that all the time, it might get annoying. So now it's time for one of my favourite segments of the show, the bit that I like to call the news talks. So uh, this week I've got three things to talk to you about this week that come kind of through my mouth and into the camera and you find out all the latest news that you need to know. So first of all, uh, Carmen have released a new music video for their latest single, the title track from their album, Hello. Uh, it came out on Tuesday. Have you seen it yet? What do you think? It's really cool. It's definitely worth checking out. And obviously the album came out in the UK the day before on the Monday. So it's really good that we finally got the album on the 6th of August because I mean we've been waiting for months and finally it's here. Second thing to talk to you about this week is of course the London 2012 Olympic Games. I'm really into it. Are you into it? What are you thinking about it? Let me know down there. But anyway, so the topic is uh, obviously the events that are going on tonight because you seem to like me covering that last week. So in tonight's events you can find lots of athletics going down. You've got the finals of the 200 meters men's uh, and that's going to be amazing because it's got Usain Bolt in it and everyone's expecting him to win but is one of his competitors going to win? We will find out very soon. Secondly, uh, the final of the jumping, of uh, the triple jumping is on tonight. That's going to be amazing too. Are we going to win? Are we not going to win? Find out very soon. We've been doing really well in the athletics so far. And thirdly, the decathlon concludes with the 1,500 metres men's finale. Let's see how that goes. Are you going to be watching? Let me know down there. And the final thing to talk to you about in this week's part of the show that I like to call the news talks 
is that uh, the return date for Waterloo Road, the BBC show, has been announced. I know lots of you guys like me like Waterloo Road and it's back on Thursday the 23rd of August uh, starting at 8 p.m. on BBC One going on until 9. Are you waiting for the return? Do you like the show? Have you seen it before or do you not know what I'm on about because you live in a totally different country? If you haven't heard of Waterloo Road before, check it out obviously after you've commented down there, up there in the search bar. Now it's time for the Teens Top 10. And now it's time for the Teens Top 10 where I count down your favourite 10 artists of this week as voted by you in my poll. If you haven't voted before and you'd like to know how, look in the description below my sponsored information and there'll be a link. When you follow that link, you can vote for your favourite artist if they're not on the list, add them in the other section and I'll be sure to add them as soon as possible. So let's find out who's making your top 10 this week. So last week, number one starts at number 10 this week, it's Tim Minchin. Number nine this week, she's pounding her alarm and it seems to be working because it's getting her noticed and back in the chart is Nicki Minaj. Number eight, she's doing it like a dude, but will it get her to number one? It's Jessie J. Number seven, last week's number two, it's Cameron Hoskin TV. Well done to him for hanging in there on the chart. And number six, Selena Gomez is doing really well again. Who says she can't get number one? Well, Skrillex does. He's number five this week. Well done to him for doing well again. Number four, Lady Gaga is back in the chart. Well done to her. Judas will be happy for her. And number three this week, hello, hello, hello. It's Carmen. Number two, she wants that number one spot. She'll be wide awake if she gets it. It's Katy Perry. And that means number one yet again, although she went down last time, it's finally Sarah Gibson. Well done to her for getting back to the number one spot. She really deserves to be there, as does Cameron Hoskins TV. Well done for being in the chart as well. Make sure to vote next week, and now it's time for the next part of the show. So lots of movement in my chart, as always, but it's great to see you guys still voting, so make sure to continue to do so down there. So before I go, I've got time for a shout-out, which this week goes to The Random Pasta. Been a long-term supporter of my channel, always commenting, which I like, which lots of you do down there. Make sure to keep doing it. Uh, but she's got loads of cool videos that she's starting. She's got her first video up on our channel so go and check it out and see what you think so thank you for watching another episode of Ask the Teen my Facebook The Teen Talks Greg Frog on Twitter and my second channel all up there if you want to go and check them out it'd be great to talk to you over there too uh, obviously as I said before the Teen tier is a bit redundant at the minute but new stuff will be on there soon hopefully with any luck so before I go I would just like to say please subscribe up there please leave your comments below your questions below and your shout out requests below or you can send them to me as an inbox message here on YouTube uh, thank you for watching another episode we're getting closer to 100 now what new features would you like to see from episode 100 let me know down there and I'll be sure to take it into consideration and then deciding what I'm going to do for 100 I've got some ideas but I'd love to incorporate your ideas too so thank you for watching another episode and I will see you next week bye for now everyone